I got a bad valve and I'm going to need to replace it. Since I'm pulling it out anyway, I thought I'd add in some unions. If I have a reason to pull this valve in the future, it'll make the job quick and easy. And adding the unions is simple to do. I'm Alfred Castillo, the Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. Let's talk about unions. Some folks use the words coupler and union interchangeably, and that's not quite correct. A coupler looks like this. It creates a permanent connection between two pipes. These are unions. This union is slip, and this one is threaded. The union allows you to make a connection that's capable of being taken apart without any special tools or having to cut anything. This part I'm unscrewing is called the collar. Now you'll see that I have two tail pieces here. This one has an O-ring and threads. When I begin to cement the non-threaded tail piece on, I'll need to be sure I put the collar on first. Otherwise, likewise, I need to make sure the collar gets cemented on with the correct tail piece. Otherwise, Houston, we've got a problem. So think it through before you glue. I should put that on a shirt, right? For this repair, we're going to need a pipe cutter or hacksaw, two slip unions, PVC cement and glue, and the replacement valve. Before you get started, always remember to turn off the water and relieve the pressure in the lines. One way to relieve the pressure is to open one of the valves for a few seconds. Or you could go to your system controller and activate one of your zones for a few seconds. This will allow some of the water to evacuate the system. As part of replacing your valve, you'll need to cut the solenoid wires. Now I'm gonna cut this pipe right here next to the coupler and on the other side as well. I'll reuse this piece of PVC and the adapter. Here's the new anti-siphon valve. I've got my two unions disassembled. Now I'm gonna cement both smaller non-threaded tail pieces along with the collar to this piece. Doing it this way means that the collar will be covering the thread and that will help to keep debris out of the threads. You don't have to do it that way, it's personal preference. First I'll put on the collars and now I'll place primer on both threaded tail pieces and now cement. Quarter turn to ensure a good seal. I'll let that set up while I begin working on the pipes. Now I'll apply primer to both of my pipe cuts and then to my tail pieces. Now cement on the pipe cuts and then the tail pieces. Slide them on. Quarter turn to make a good seal. Now let's put everything together. Job complete! Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to keep your irrigation systems up and running so that your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. And if you have any questions about our products, give us a call or chat with one of our friendly customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the most out of our user-friendly Shop and Compare web store. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Alfred Castillo your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro.